Good morning, good morning, or good afternoon, good evening, wherever it is you are watching from. It is morning for me, this beautiful Tuesday morning. Um, I just got out of the shower and I wanted to get ready for the day with you. And today I'm gonna use all the drugstore things that I have. Sorry, I keep watching there. Anyway, without further ado and me chit-chatting too much, let's get into it. I'm a little bit old school when it comes to getting my hair out of my face. I'm not gonna use the fancy um, <laughs> hair bands. Oh, sorry, someone's calling me. Uno momento. I'm back. When Papa calls, we have to pick up the phone. Alrighty. So, where was I? Drugstore get ready with me, hair up. Let's start with primer and as per usual, I'm gonna use my e.l.f. matte and e.l.f. poreless. We know that I love these primers. They're pretty good for the price. I think they hold my makeup on all day in this Florida humidity and it's so bad now guys oh my god this is my second year like second and a half ish summer because we moved here at the end of August two years ago and um, last year I worked in an office and it was kind of like in the car that was in the garage to the office back home, blah, blah, blah. And I didn't really feel it as bad. But now I'm home. And I have to say, it's brutal. Even though I lived like right on the ocean in New York and summers were pretty humid and bad, it's nothing like it. Though they tell me that there's a pretty bad heat wave in New York right now, so... They're suffering too, but listen, I'd rather take nine months of beautiful weather and suffer for two, three months in the heat than nine months of cold winter and maybe a couple of weeks of nice weather. All right, <laughs> I digress. Uh, on to foundation. Today I'm going to use the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Skin Tint. I have it in the color 310. I'm going to put it in the palm of my hand and then I will take my BK Beauty 101 and I will just get it all in there and we'll go stippling it on okay this is more of a sheer foundation but I'm kind of in the mood for a um, sheer look today. I don't want a big um, layer of stuff on my face today. So we'll go for this. Otherwise, I would have used the um, e.l.f. one that I, that I love also. But that's more of a full coverage. It's like a BB cream. It's not the new one but that one is more full coverage. This one is more sheer. It says it'll last 24 hours. We shall see. But I do like this foundation. It matches my, my um, tan right now. I'm outside quite a lot and I've noticed that even though I apply and reapply sunscreen all day long when I'm outside, I still got like a pretty nice tan on my face, which I don't know, I should wear a hat. I just like really, I don't know what it is. I'm just not a fan of hats. They look good on me and everything. And I know I should wear one, but I am not a fan. I gotta get a little wipey to get the foundation off. Um, what's next? Let's go with concealer. 
By the way, I got these cucumber citrus face and body wipes from Trader Joe's and I really like them. They smell really good. Um, although I'm not a fan of using moist toilets because they, I don't know how, how well they decompose, but whatever. Again, I digress. Okay, let's move on to concealer. I have two when I'm not well rested and I have like dark um, under eyes, which is not often because even though I, I, I don't really sleep well, my under eyes just don't really get dark often. But when they do, I use this um, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser in the pink 160, but I don't think I need it today. So I'm going to use the e.l.f. Cosmetics Hydrating Camo Concealer in, can't see the color because I am blind. I don't know. Um, boom, boom, boom. No, I don't see the color. Oh, medium peach. We'll use that and see how that works. Someone commented on my video, previous video about what I asked for um, recommendations on what to do. Like I tried different eye creams and whatnot. And they said, um, you know, they said that like eye creams are a scam and that your foundation, your regular moisturizer is just fine. So I've been trying to do that and just using my regular moisturizer. So, I mean, obviously it has to take a couple of days or, or maybe even weeks for it to really have any effect, but we'll see. I am willing to give anything a go because my eyes are just, my under eyes are just so bleh. I mean, obviously I'm also getting older but I'm not willing to put any Botox or filler under my eyes. I don't mind it anywhere else, but under my eyes, I'm just not willing to do it. Never say never though, but for now, no. So I'm willing to try anything. All right, concealer is on. Let's get foundation every, everywhere. You know how I like to first use a brush and then use a sponge. Oh, my hair is just going everywhere. Okay, on to bronzer. For bronzer, I'm gonna start off with the e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wand in medium tan. I do like this quite a lot. I'm not a fan of the packaging, but the product itself is amazing. So I do use this one quite often over my Charlotte Tilbury in the same, if I'm in the mood for a wand. Otherwise I use my NARS cream bronzer in Laguna, which I really, really love. But this is honestly not bad at all. For e.l.f., you know how much I rave about it. I um, watched uh, Risa's, uh, Risa Does Makeup video today in the morning, and she also mentioned the um, a physician's formula wand. So I think once I'm out of this one, I'm gonna try that one as well. She was, she said it's one of her favorite products so far this year. So I'm gonna try that one next. Um, you know, whenever you could save a little, a little money, especially right now in this economy, you should. And everybody loves a good drugstore product although guys drugstore prices have been also going getting out of control lately it's okay we persevere alrighty now let's go over everything with the damp sponge 
And then we'll move on to powder. Alrighty, so for powder today, I only have one drugstore powder and it's my Rimmel London Translucent Powder. I use this quite often, so I'm going to use this both for under the eyes and all over the face a little bit. I'm not going to put too much for all over the face. Oh, sorry. Um, everything's just falling. Okay, where's my concealer? Here we go. Nope, not it. Oh, no. Okay, we'll use this one. Okay. So, let's get all the creases out and put a tiny little bit of powder under the eyes. I used to be obsessed with this powder. I think I might have used up three or four of these little powder containers back in the day but then you know as time goes on better powders come out you want to try new things but overall this powder is not bad I'm not going to do uh, the concealer trick today with the setting spray because I don't have a drugstore setting spray, so we'll leave that. Oh, let's set the face. Where's my, just a tiny little bit. Not too much. I think my face, this foundation is not so um, liquidy. It dried it down pretty fast and nicely, so. I don't need so much powder today. Oh, shoot. I wanted to use a cream blush. I'm, I'm going to do something crazy and I'm going to go over powder. So this is e.l.f. Uh, blush in Pinky Promise. Oh, e.l.f. Camo Liquid Blush. It's like this beautiful pink rosy color, but not like a... Not like a Barbie pink, but more of a warm pink. So I put a little bit on the back of my hand and I'm going to go in with a brushy brush. Oh, everything's just falling lately for me. Just such a klutz lately. I don't know what it is. Okay, I got most of it on the back of my hand and we'll just... Oh, that's pretty. This is the first time I think I'm trying this. And it goes beautifully over a powdered cheek. It didn't lift up anything. That's great. I mean, Alpha is honestly doing something right. Okay. You can never have enough blush, as I always say. But I'm gonna go over it with a little bit of my sponge. A little dabbing from my sponge. Okay, toned it down a little bit because we will go over it with the powder blush. For now, I'm going to do a little bronzer, and for bronzer we're using the Wet n Wild Color I can bron uh, Bronzer in the shade 743B. What shady beaches? Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. What shady beaches? Okay. I'm using my Sonia G Master Face for the bronzer. This bronzer is a little bit warm, which I'm not always a fan of, but you know, we have a an expression in my language that roughly translated means when there's no fish in the sea, even a crab can become a fish. <laughs> 
So basically what it means is like, if you don't have something, you can use something else for it. Or my grandma always used to say it for um, like, there's plenty of fish in the sea, but sometimes when there's no fish, even a crab can become a fish. But in this case, it's like, when I don't have another bronzer, I've got to do with what you have. So, I might, I had another shade of this. It was a little bit more cooler, but now that I'm darker in complexion due to the tan, um, I, I kind of had to buy this one because the other one was a little too light. But I think it's all right. Mm, blush. So for blush, I got the Rimmel Maxi Blush in Wild Card. So it's a beautiful, um, like a pink color. It looks a little bright on camera, but it's not so bright. Oh, I guess it is. It looks like it'll be super pigmented. So I'm gonna use a very fluffy brush and I'm going to apply a very light hand and try to get rid of as much of it as possible. So, oof, that is, that is beautiful. That is a beautiful color. Does it have a scent? No, no scent. I guess it's my brush cleaner. All right. This is a very beautiful color, guys. And so nicely pigmented. I mean, I prefer a blush that you have to build up the pigment because when you don't really have experience with makeup so much, you could really overdo it. So I think for people who are kind of beginning their makeup journey or um, non-highly pigmented blushes are better, but this is a beautiful, beautiful color. Um, okay. Highlighter. So, I have two. Both of them from Wet n Wild. However, one of them is no longer made. And this highlighter was unbelievable when it came out. Uh... I got one purely on accident. It was one left in the store and I was like, eh, whatever, it was cheap. And I bought it and then I showed all my friends and I mean, guys, this was years ago. Years and years and years ago. And honestly, Elf, bring this back because for those of us who like to shine to the stars and want to be seen from space, look how beautiful this is. Oh my goodness. Oh, I have UPS coming in. Give me a minute. I'll be right back. I'm back. So, back to the highlighter. This highlighter is amazing, but it is no longer being made. So, it was limited edition. And, oh, just to say, they like came out with permanent ones right after this one, but they were not the same. And I bought and I tried all of them. They were not the same. So today, I'm gonna use um, the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Golden Flower Crown, which is this one. But I really want to use that one. Maybe I'll put a little bit, like in the inner corner of my eye. But I feel bad using it since you can't get it anymore. But this one is so pretty too. These ones were also like a big thing. Do you remember that? I mean, since then they came out with, uh, not one wild, but in general drugstore came out with way better highlighters, but this one is still pretty good. And I remember loving it. So I repurchased it, but I have to say it is a beautiful, Highlights, huh? Let's blend it out a little bit with some more blush. I feel like I'll put on a little more here than here. Come back to even it all out. Okay, on to the eyes. What I want to use today is the ColourPop that's taupe 
palette. I've recently decluttered it into my daughter's collection, but realized when I sat down to do this video that I don't really have that many drugstore eyeshadow palettes or eyeshadow to begin with. I have one from Wet n Wild that again, they no longer make. So I can't use that one, but I will use this. And I'm feeling a little bit like a cool eye look. So we'll start with, and I believe they still make this because I've bought it not so long ago. So we'll start with Boa all over the eye. Let me see if I can bring you a little bit closer. Ooh. Okay, so we'll start with Boa for all over the eye. Okay. Just to kind of set the concealer and whatever else might be on there. And then I want to move on to building up my crease with Pebble Beach which is which is this one pebble beach and we'll just put it all over the crease now my eyes are hooded so i have to kind of um put it high up in my crease so that it looks like I have a crease, actually. All right. Hopefully it looks okay on camera. I always struggle with like settings on the camera and trying for it not to be blurry. Okay, so that color is on Pebble Beach and I'll Deepen it up a little bit with um, <clears throat> Python. What should I go with? Python, which is the one, the darker one right next to it. And maybe we'll go in with a little bit of a darker one later. We'll see how this goes. So just a little bit under. Colourpop shadows were always really good and I'll use I'll keep blending as I go I just you know I have so many eyeshadow palettes that I kind of struggle with using all of them and if I'm not really reaching for it I'm gonna pass it on but <clears throat> I also don't really do uh, cool eyeshadow looks that often I don't particularly love the way they look on me, but today I felt like a cool eyeshadow look. All right, I'm gonna leave it at this depth for now. And I want to go in on the inner corner with a little bit of constrictor, which is this color closer from the inner corner to uh, the center of the lid. Just wipe whatever is on here. Ooh, that looks like it has a lot of fallout. But I'll carefully pat it on. Okay. I don't normally mind a little bit of fallout, but sometimes when you know your whole face is sad and everything is looking good. All right. Let's blend it out a bit and see if it'll blend out. Like blend away, not blend out. Okay, still looking good. For the rest of the lid, I'm gonna use Snake Eye, which is 
this center and then I'll use this in the inner corner. And I'm gonna use my fingers for that because I feel like it'll have a better payoff. Okay. They feel a little dry to be honest with you, but that could mean, look at all the makeup I have on my hands. That could mean that it's old or the quality is not good. I can't really tell because I don't really normally use drugstore eyeshadow palettes and this is my first one, so I can't really tell. But if you do have palettes from ColourPop, let me know. Is it just because it's old or is it all of them? They're feeling a little dry. All right, inner corner time, we're using Slated, which is this beautiful, ooh, beautiful, like silver, silver. I guess it has a little bit of a, um, some sort of a reflect that I can't really tell what it is, but we'll see how it looks on the inner corner. Yeah, you see, it's a little dry. It's not really sticking so well to the inner corner, but it's okay. Again, this is what I have to work with and I have to make the best of it. It's not even like getting on the brush. So, yeah, it's super dry. Like look, it's not even getting on the brush. I don't know if you could see. Nope. All right, so what I will do to compensate for that is I'm gonna go into the Wet n Wild and we'll see how that looks. Woo, look at that. Wow, what a difference, right? I'm sure all of us makeup lovers have something as shiny in our collection. But how beautiful is that? Wow. The eyes are done. I'm going to do my mascara and eyebrows off camera. I'm using Voluminous L'Oreal and e.l.f. and I'll be right back. All right, mascara and brows are done. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put a little um, cream liner in the in in the water lines. It's the one by Rimmel in 005 nude, just to look a little more fresh. Ta da! Okay. Ooh. All right, moving on to the lips. So, I don't know, for some reason I could not find my any of my drugstore lipsticks, but I have an idea to match the lips to the blush. I'm gonna use a NYX pencil in Natural, SPL 810 Natural, and I'm gonna use the blush from e.l.f. So, Let's do that. Okay. Smudge it out a little bit and then we'll do, put it on the back of my hand. Do a little mm. that is a pretty color. I like. I think I have um a gloss somewhere that I brought or I thought I brought. 
but it's it no. All right, I'm done with my makeup. My hair is still a little wet, but I'm gonna let it air dry and that will be it. I'm not gonna do too much to it. And I think I'm ready for the day. I hope you like my little makeup get ready with me using drugstore products. I hope you guys like this video, comment on this video, and of course, subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.